Question 3. Write an algorithm in pseudocode that allows the user to enter two numbers and then add them together, output the total. So again, let's pick apart this question and look for the inputs, the outputs, any processing and anything that's going to be repeated. Um, so we have to, we're in entering numbers, so we've got some input here. Um, we're asked to enter two numbers, so um, we can use a loop, so we, we've got some repetition there. And we know we can use a for loop because we know how many times that we've been asked to loop. So we can use the for loop structure for that. Um, we have an output here, so we can go ahead and annotate that. And we do have some processing this time, so we have to add the numbers together. So you can see now the annotations are really starting to help, so we can make sure we address each of these points. And the good thing about doing this method is if you were a bit stuck on doing the processing, then it's very, very easy to um, do an output. We could output total, and we could do an input to input a number as well. That's going to get you some of the marks anyway. But let's go ahead and solve this one. So um, we need to start off with our loop structure because we don't we don't input anything before the loop starts. So we can start with our loop structure. For i assign 1 to 2 because we're going to repeat twice. Then inside the loop we need to do uh, an input. So we can input a uh, number and um, importantly good practice declare the variables as you go along so you can see how I'm answering this I'm not answering this as you'd see it as in the sort of mark theme for an examination I'm kind of answering it how you might go ahead and answer it yourself in the exam so you, you realize you need to input a number here we're going to call it number and then as you do that think yeah I'm going to declare that now as I go along and um, to help our user we're going to pop a message on the screen for them enter a number and uh, we need to um, add the numbers together so we're going to need some sort of total here so uh, total is going to be assigned total plus number so they enter a number and we add it to the total so we've created a new variable here so let's go ahead and um, declare that as well and then also importantly hopefully you're thinking at the moment well hang on a sec total we're going to get an error here because total doesn't have a value so uh, we know what the number is but we don't know what the total is and you're absolutely right so we would get an error so what we need to do, and always do this, if you ever use a total or a count, just give it an initial value, set it to zero at the start here. So we now know initially total zero, and then the first time round, we're just going to add the first number to zero, and total will be whatever that is, and then we can keep going around. Um, last thing to do is to, uh, so we've done our processing, is to finish our loop structure and have next i so i is just our loop variable in this case and what you can also do now is you can just double check have we done everything and actually no we haven't i see so many instances where um, students lose marks because they forget to do this last bit here output the total yes yeah, so we're feeling quite good about, good with ourselves because we've done this but we haven't actually finished we've lost that one mark so always just go back through your annotations and just double check you've done each each point so we've done the input inside the loop we've set the loop up um, we've added the numbers together ah and we need to do output total is total okay right thank you very much and uh, on to the next question